Hi, I'm Eric Engel, and I am the bladesmith here at Razor Emporium. I've been so for about three years, and what I do here is restore vintage straight razors. And today we're going to discuss preparation for honing. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you two different methods I use for lapping my stones and making sure they get flat and are ready to hone. The first method, I use a DMT plate. This is a 120 micron DMT plate. You can use this on most all of your synthetic stones, except once you get up to the higher grit stones. If you're using a 12K, you might want a little bit higher grit DMT plate. So, first thing we're gonna do is do hatch marks across our stone. Just take a pencil and mark some lines all the way across the stone. Once you've done that, you want to make sure you wet the stone. On most synthetics, you're going to be fine just going ahead and wetting it and going to work. Um, some of the natural stones you'll want to soak for a little bit if the water dries up too quick. But you're going to set your DMT plate on it and just go back and forth as such. Until all the marks you made are gone. Now you can see I've still got a few marks on there. So we will go a little more. And that looks like that has it there. So what I like to do after this is I like to take out my sides, use the same DMT plate and cut it at an angle on the corner here. Take off that edge and that'll help keep your shoulder safer and also you'll go through less tape doing this. And by keep your shoulder safe, I mean that if you don't round that off, you can catch the heel of the blade on the stone and that can cause a chip or other damage. And that has it there. This stone is ready to be used. And our second method of lapping a stone is with sandpaper. It's a lot more affordable and it actually works really well. It's my preferred method if I'm going to be lapping a natural stone or even my 20K. So, what we're going to want to do, first step again, is draw our hash marks across our stone. And you're going to want a flat surface. That's why we've got this slab of granite here makes it nice and flat. It's going to ensure that we get a nice flat stone. I've taped 400 grit sandpaper to the top of it. Taped it down good. So we'll take some water, get our stone wet, and wet the sandpaper a bit. And just move back and forth on the sandpaper. until all the hash marks are gone. And that looks like it. This was pretty flat to start with. Normally you will have to work a little bit harder than that. But that's got it. And that's a Japanese natural stone. And that one is ready for honing. 
Hi, I'm Eric Engel, and I thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out our website, RazorEmporium.com, and be sure to tune in next video when we go over honing from start to finish.